almost all beginner traders start from the intraday time frame and they end up getting some results which are not really optimal. Hi, I'm Yatin Danade, stock market trader, trainer and investor. Today, we're going to go into a live stream recording in which I explain the power of daily time frame. Because I believe that is the first place a beginner should start if they're getting into equity trading and not intraday time frame. As you gain more experience in daily time frame, you can either decrease your time. That means you can go into smaller time frames or you can increase your time frame. So let's just check out the power of daily time frame. Now I'm going to go into my favorite reasons why daily time frame charts are really, really powerful. Okay, the power of daily time frame. How can you, uh, what are the benefits of it? This is my personal because I trade in this time frame. That's why I'm extremely biased. You might be getting better success in lower time frames and all the best to you if you're doing it. But if you're a beginner and you're, you're confused at where to start, then I think probably daily time frame is the best place to begin. And here are my reasons why. There are going to be many, many reasons. So you can keep noting down or keep uh, have that in your mind. First of all, you get a very clear picture of levels, trends and candles on daily time frame. Okay. Uh, if you notice on a smaller time frame chart, the candles and trends are always confusing. It's it's uh, there's so much mess there that it, that finding good patterns or finding good levels is it's actually very difficult, and, and especially when you're a beginner, it's, it's actually super confusing. Then this is again a fact of technical analysis. Okay, the more evidence you have, the better your analysis. And daily time frame has got ten times more power than a fifteen minute or a five minute chart. It's as simple as that because more and more people are involved in it and it takes more time. It's as simple as that. So the amount of uh, uh, accuracy of the entire analysis is going to be higher than shorter time frame. That's the law of nature. And uh, anybody who's telling you anything else apart from this is uh, probably taking you for a ride. Okay. Then uh, something that I just spoke about recently, false breakouts. Okay. Why do they happen? There are many reasons. But in short, there are, of course, some big uh, traders or smart money that usually takes advantage of some levels where they take the stock closer to that level before uh, changing the uh, changing their position so that smaller traders actually get trapped in it. And false breakout is when uh, you're taking a position in one side because of a breakout, but it didn't actually happen and you hit a stop loss. OK, now. In shorter time frames, because the candle and the movement is very small, it is actually easier to do. The amount of money required is less. So in shorter time frames, you'll always see false breakout are always going to be the number of false breakout is going to be very, very high. The moment you go to daily time frame to get the stock moving into a false breakout range and bring it back in one day's time, it requires huge amount of capital and that is not possible for all the big traders is there are very few traders in this world or, or trading companies or institutions that can actually take one stock through an entire day into a false breakout okay they usually will have to do it in a couple of days time so 90 percent less false breakout will happen in daily charts compared to your intraday charts because in intraday it's much more easy especially when a stock is coming into its trend and a lot of news and a lot of uh, traders are getting interested in it uh, you're going to get uh, caught up very quickly in that so you cannot you don't have to fear smart money in daily time frame now i'm not saying it's 100 percent about 90 percent of the times you'll be avoiding most of the false breakout because you're waiting for that end of the day closing chart uh, time as well and then by that time if the false breakout has happened you can easily avoid it because you're not in that rush which brings me to my next point you're not in a rush to trade you take your time uh, it's like trading in slow motion you you can uh, take your decisions easily you have more evidence okay and that's why it is best for part-time traders as well okay so you can take out some time out of your day and time is now with you instead of against you okay now, next thing that which I teach in my trading system is that for for actually analyzing the entire day's activity, you need 30 minutes, not more than you need eight hours. If you're in a shorter time frame, you have to be in and out of the market multiple number of times because you have to stay with your trades. Uh, even if you automate it, you'll have to check it a couple of times. And so the time frame required to be involved in your trade is higher. OK, but for daily time frame, uh, for execution, you just need 5-10 minutes, which I tell where I usually do it at 10 o'clock or 3 p.m. 
that's what i my recommended time is and for studying you do it offline and you take 30 minutes out of your day and you can analyze the most uh, active stocks within 30 minutes especially after practice maybe not in the beginning but as you get comfortable with it and with screeners it becomes much much more easier as well okay so you actually stay away from over analysis because throughout the day there is so much information coming in that your analysis or by paralysis you know over analysis takes place in daily charts that will you will never find that because you have an, you have less number of uh, you know fluctuating or compromising data not compromising conflicting data and biggest thing is there is no stress of that timeline or that quick changes you can take your time we will actually study offline and take action when the market is open that's the best part so distraction is also very very little because you're not thinking of two three things at the same time okay then uh, we have some more pointers like first of all even if you're let's say trading in intraday if you study daily charts you will have those bigger levels where the activity is going to be the maximum okay where the chances of getting a reversal is going to be right so if you study daily charts your trends and levels for intraday is also much better your understanding is better for that day and you'll avoid getting caught up with big levels because you already know what those important levels are okay because daily time frame will always have an impact on a intraday chart so that impact is also clear to you so this actually improves your intraday if you just study daily charts on a daily basis and again in intraday when you are trading in shorter time let's say 15 even 30 minute chart if a news hits the reaction is actually going to take your trade out of uh, out of the ball park you are actually stuck in trade sometimes the uh, if news gets hit maybe some result is announced maybe some bad news comes in what happens when you are trading in daily chart you are only reading those charts after the market closes so you are not going to get caught up in between if that reaction takes place of course if you are stuck in a bad trade you have your stop loss that's a different case and that's going to be very rare but you will not get caught again and again in news based stocks where you can wait for the news to react and then take your position according to it because now you have the news uh, news analysis with you as well and chart analysis as well but during that short term time frame when you are in the trade in intraday a news can hit you and take you out badly then uh, we again another advantage which takes you away from false breakout is you have wider stop loss okay i'm sure everybody must have experienced this that you have taken a position and uh, as soon as you take the position stock starts going against you it hits your stop loss you get out of your position and boom it starts going towards your target i'm sure if you have done that you just give me a thumbs up right now it has happened just a, a thumbs thumbs up emoji in the in the chat right now if it that has happened to you that you have bought it hit your stop loss and then hit the target okay that happens more or less in shorter time frames uh, multiple number of times i'm not saying it doesn't happen on daily charts but because of daily charts you're going to have a wider stop loss okay the the error of margin is very very high risk reward is also going to be very very high so this kind of touching of stop loss and going back happens less way lesser than what you would experience in your shorter time frames and that's why wider stop loss will keep you in trade for longer period of time and that's why daily time frames can be really really powerful so yeah we have uh, shrey jim bhargav uh, nibhu chandri I, i can't pronounce your instagram name man zubin kiran everybody has experienced this so you know what i'm talking about okay the daily time frame you at least you can minimize that by taking wider stop loss giving more space for stock to move and one very very big evil of trading in short term is over trading okay where you keep trading keep trading trading is a mental game it is again based more on quality and not quantity that is something you need to start understanding and if you want to understand this principle more go and read the book 80 20 principle where small uh, quantity of things actually give you much bigger result or pareto principle you can go and study that on uh, wikipedia as well okay but with over trading what happens because you think that more and we are trained to think that you know more more work means more money 
Unfortunately, in market that might not be true. And over trading is going to be exhausting. First of all, second, it's going to make your broker richer. You are not going to be richer by trading more and more. You need to trade with more smart and more quality trades rather than too many trading. Now, with daily time frame, you cannot do over trading because you have that slower time frame. The quality of uh, you know analysis is going to be bigger. The number of trades is going to be by logic smaller. Okay, so. That automatically cuts out any kind of over trading that you will do. And then we have uh, finally consistency is much better. Okay. See every day when market opens, there are hundreds of stocks and market is different and it goes in different directions every day. Okay. But market definitely closes every day. And that gives you that confidence that when you're not trading during market hours, your analysis consistency is better. Now, I'm not saying you will get trades every day, but your analysis is going to be much more consistent compared to every day's uh, fluctuations, daily different type of uh, situations that you have to go through in a smaller time frame. When market closes, you can do your study, you can find the trades that you find that you know they're the most likely, and then you can uh, probably trade. So consistency is much better in daily time frame because of the same reason that you will not be distracted throughout the time and your analysis is not going to be different or, or the process of analysis is not going to be different. And again, finally, and there are many, many other reasons why you should do that is as well. Uh, you, we all know that intraday can be addictive. Okay, If you don't know this, please understand. Uh, just like any other drug, intraday trading can be addictive. Just like any other gambling activity, intraday can be very, very addictive. And I want all of you to understand that gambling can never make you rich. Addiction will only take money out of your pocket. So shorter time frame because we're so used to uh, getting that stimulus all the time, we get hooked onto it and then we want that kick out of trading. If you're doing trading for kicks, probably uh, you'll never do any courses and you'll just keep burning money into the market. Okay, Even if you make a lot of profits, you're going to trade more and take give it back to the market. That's what usually happens to uh, most addicted traders okay addiction can never be a good thing and when you do daily trades because you're doing uh, trades from such a peaceful position uh, addiction is actually uh, very unlikely okay because you're, you're, it takes a lot of time for the reaction to happen and your brain doesn't get hooked as easily as it would do to smaller time frame signals okay so these are just some of the few benefits of uh, you know trading in the daily time frame charts. Now, whether you want to trade in a shorter time frame or not, I'm not saying don't do it, but start with higher time frame, get better results, get good at your analysis, your technical analysis, your trading, and then slowly move towards shorter time frame rather than going the other way around. That is the whole motive for me, for you to understand in this live session. Okay. Now, there are a couple of disadvantages that I would like to discuss, but before that, I'll answer some of the questions that have popped into the chat box. Uh, what about, I think I have answered uh, beginner's question. Bhargav is asked, is it possible to say profitable in long run while trading intraday? Bhargav, I'm not saying you, it's not prof uh, possible to stay profitable in intraday trading. Okay. The only question is because stocks move very small, unless and until you have huge capital riding on it and you are also consistently good at your trading, only then intraday can become one viable source of income. Okay, definitely if you if you have higher accuracy, if you have those skills, then uh, intraday trading can become one source of income for you for sure. And there are very very rare people who do it. It's not that they don't do it. It's just that they have taken years and years to master that. Uh, that whatever analysis or whatever strategy that they use. Okay. And it all starts with higher time frame going to lower time frame. It, it's not the reverse way. So profitability, yes, but it's going to happen over a few period of maybe three years, four years. I don't know. Okay. But I know that higher time frames can give you profitability faster if you stick with it. Prashant, I don't check out FIA buying, DIA selling. I, I just check charts, Prashant. Uh, again, that's just over analysis of things. Whatever happens, you can see it on charts. 
And uh, if I want to do fundamental analysis, then I don't look at FIs and DIs. I actually look into private equity investing into a stock, which is a complete different volume from trading. If I'm investing in a stock, then I go into all of those uh, little nitty gritties. But if I'm trading, I usually follow chart and get little hint from uh, maybe the fundamental sentiment that is going on in the market. Next question is, uh, how long should I hold a stock? I'm making profit holding a stock for a week, but then I'm getting confused. First of all, uh, if you're trading with a certain target, follow that target, not the time. Okay. And whenever your target hits, exit from that. Forget about time. So time is not something, especially, especially if you're dealing with a daily time frame. Time is something that you need to take out of the equation. Don't force the market. Let your profits run on their own course. When you hit target, that is the day you follow your discipline and you exit from the stock. Now, it might take five days, one week, one month or seven months. You should have that patience. As long as it doesn't hit your stop loss, you keep holding the stock and you stay through with it. I hope that makes sense to you. Uh, I, for confusion, uh, then if, if you have a clear plan of exit, then the confusion should be there. I think I've answered the same question. Bhargav Krishna, can you briefly explain how can I join uh, study from you? There are a couple of things that you can do. First is I have a five day traders training program whose link I can send you. Uh, my all modules are downloadable with lifetime access. You can download that and I will give you Zoom sessions as one on one uh, doubt clearing and practical sessions with it. OK, so uh, simple idea is you, you make the payment, you get all the lessons start studying the lessons and then book live zoom sessions with me where we'll go through your doubts we'll do one session for your doubts uh, and you know we're going through all the exercises and then we'll do one session to set up your own trading system so the, there are two live sessions and five hours of downloaded content uh, for details of course you can message me or you can send me a dm Bhargav, i will be uh, happy to send you the entire detailed video as well then we have everybody who has said yes to the stop loss cutting and going to hit the target. Uh, hello, Kamal. Bhargav, I think I've answered the question uh, for joining and learning from me. I also have an announcement to make regarding my new course that I'll uh, launch in 2021. Uh, then uh, we have Dopespool who has joined. Hello. Prashant, charts versus news. I prefer charts. News is uh, well, news is good trigger, but usually the results or the reaction is always seen in charts. For trading, it's charts and for investing, it's news. So we have different volume. It depends on whether you're trading or investing. OK, I guess uh, that is it for the questions that have come in. Yes, Bhargav, I, I see you have said, sir. I think I'll, I'll send you a message as well separately. Uh, or you can just send me a DM regarding the course so I can uh, forward all the details to you. Now, now that I've given all the big uh, advantages of the daily time frame, here's something that you need to understand. There are a couple of disadvantages as well. First of all, just like anything else in the market, it is not 100%. I might be saying a lot of positive things about daily time frame, but it is never going to be 100%. There will always be stop losses there will always be sometimes your analysis may not be wrong okay what i'm trying to say is it's going to be way more accurate than intraday trades that's what my idea is but it's not going to be 100 percent accurate keep that in mind second it requires a lot of patience so if you are really young you don't have patience probably daily time frame is not for you okay because you will run yourself mad by thinking about when is my stock going to hit target okay if you have that uh, mental, uh, I would say pressure in your mind, then daily time frame is not for you because they're going to drive you mad because targets take few days or few months to hit as well. And then, uh, of course, when you hit target, you're going to feel very good. But till that time, that whole patient journey, if you're not patient, it, it will be really, really difficult for you mentally. But while well, trading is a mental sport and if you're not mentally tough, probably you should think of some other career altogether. And it takes a lot of time to see results, okay? Because you can take 20 trades in a month in intraday, maybe 24, maybe 40 trades, but you cannot take 20 daily time frame based trades, at least good ones in one month's time. 
you will take six months maybe a year to complete those 20 trades and like i've always said you for whatever system or strategy you're using at least minimum 20 trade sample size needs to be there before you can decide whether it is for you or not or whether it's accurate or not so to see the results you might take some uh, more time than any other time frame any lower time frame so these are the only three big disadvantages of uh, the daily time frame which i must warn you guys about okay uh, that's it for today then i guess uh, finally one one important point that i need to add is uh, you might need more capital to see it run profitably uh, in intraday of course you get margin and leverage and there are other ways that you can trade uh, more but for daily time frame charts especially in let's say you're doing futures or options then the capital requirement might be higher than that these are the major disadvantages of uh, trading or analyzing the daily time frame but apart from that the benefits far outweigh the disadvantage is is my personal opinion and i would always recommend focus on the daily time frame i need to give you one pro pro tip uh, for the night okay i want you to take three bullish equity trades positions following whatever equity method that you like, whatever technical analysis, just three positions, you can buy just one stock in that, okay? But take three positions because one will not give you that clear idea. Have three positions and then see the result in next 90 days or six months, okay? Let the profits run, see what kind of returns you get, see what kind of uh, efforts you had to take for it, okay? And then you can get back to me and tell me wh what, what did you learn from the power of daily time frame? So that was the power of daily time frame. I hope this video helps you become a better trader. Do let me know in the comments below if you use the daily time frame already or if you're going to start using it from today onwards. Now, if you would like to learn stock markets in depth, not just trading, but investing, FNO and the basics, then check out my stock market pro training program. The link is in the description. If you have liked this video, click on the like button and do subscribe to this channel so that whenever I release more of such trading and investing related videos, you are notified immediately. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Until then, happy trading and happy investing.